It's time now to answer some of your business questions. Carol and Divya are here to help us. Sticking with our getting customers theme, the first question is from Cece, and she writes, I have a fashion label, and I'm targeting high-end consumers. I'd like to use direct marketing, specifically postcards, to reach out to potential customers. How can I make this the most cost-effective strategy possible? Well, postcards are expensive, so it's hard to make it cost-effective right from the start. If you're shaking your head, no don't postcards. Do it. No postcards. We live in the digital age. Let's leverage digital assets. So, if it's a fashion label and you're trying to drive people to a physical store,、mm-hmm. then what you want to do is you want to have promotions that are redeemable in the store because you want to drive the foot traffic inside the destination. You can use lots of online methods. You can lose things like. Google AdWords and search words for SEM. You can do Facebook ads and you know build a following. Better yet, if you're trying to build an online business, you can leverage lots of online marketing tools. Use social media, use Twitter, use Facebook. But you just、um, think don't spend the money on the postcards. The redemption rate is going to be you know more people open their email. I would say do an email marketing campaign before postcards. More I mean, people the, open their email than they open their physical mail. Yeah, and at the, and the very least, and the direct response rates are you know under sub two percent at this point. Yeah, and at the very least, it's easy. Easy to do a test with this. Yeah, and I also want to just question the strategy because direct marketing and high-end fashion, in a sense, go together for me like filet mignon and jelly. It's just kind of like a weird combination. And when you have a high-end customer, there's going to be a bigger trust gap there. So if they are, they don't know you, you may want to partner with somebody who does have a relationship that gives you extra credibility.、Mm-hmm. Whether it's an organization, a network, another company that markets to the same consumer. If you don't know these people and you're reaching out, they're going to be. Oh, why are you? You know, why are you reaching out to me? So I think it's really important to say if you're going for a direct strategy,、mm-hmm. it's going to be much easier to do that with somebody you already know, who knows you, who likes you, who trusts you,、right. than a brand new high-end consumer. So think about if there's someone you can partner with to help give you some additional credibility.、Yeah. Good idea. Okay, let's move on to the next one. This is a question about marketing your company online. Mainly for、uh, since the company is new, I would like to know how to make the company go viral. Wouldn't we all like to know?、Any、yes, there, there's actually a secret formula. I don't know if you guys know this. Everyone in advertising knows this. It's called the E's formula: puppies, kitties, and babies. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just kidding. Obviously, you can't contrive viral. It's I know. Something, it's, we all would like to. It's an outcome. It's not a strategy, or else we'd all be bottling it. You know, something goes viral when you make a connection in a way that people can't help but share it. It can be an emotional connection, something that's remarkable, something that's funny. So, if you're a company, go and service your Your customers in a blowaway fashion, blow away their minds. Great service, great experience, so they cannot help but go tell their friends. But do it in a positive way because it's much easier to go viral from a negative effect than it is from a positive. Well, and you, you by the way, have done it. Yeah,、so、exactly. By rewarding so, people. So、um, I had my first business, I think, didn't go viral. Second business, I don't think went super viral, although it had some viral signs to it. And my third one definitely has been a completely viral business. And so send the trend really. Allows the information, the product, the service to be shared very readily through lots of social media hooks, and so it makes inherently we've built in the business model viral hooks. So you come online, you see a necklace, you see a ring, you're able to share that product via email, Twitter, Facebook. If you share it and someone buys something, you get a ten dollar. So this is what I think、so、is, is interesting,、there. right? Is the, the rewards because Facebook send? We're using things like you can actually send an email message through Facebook on our site. We've built a community of over 170,000 Facebook. Fans. All right. Well, thank you guys so much. This is all really great advice. And if any of you out there have a question for our experts, all you have to do is go to our website. The address is openforum.com/yourbusiness. There, all you have to do is hit the Ask the Show link to submit a question for our panel. Again, the website is openforum.com/yourbusiness. Or if you'd rather, you can email us your questions and your comments. We love hearing those too. The address is yourbusiness at msnbc.com.